Bewitched, the beloved 1960 sitcom about a charming witch living a suburban life, remains a cultural touchstone. Over the years, many actors who brought this magical world to life have sadly passed away. Reflecting on their contributions, this list celebrates 27 bewitched actors who have left an indelible mark on TV history, celebrating their roles and the enchanting memories they created for audiences around the world. Dick York in the sitcom he plays Darren Stevens. In 1964, when he was in the sitcom, he was 36, and sadly passed away on February 20th, 1992 at 63. Bernard Fox in the sitcom he played Dr. Bombay. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, she was 39 and sadly passed away on December 14, 2016 at 89. Of course I heard you. I was surfing in the finals at Magaha. Came in second. Would have won if I'd used a surfboard. <laughs> well, what's the emergency? Casey Rogers in the sitcom she played Louis Tate. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was 40 years old and sadly she passed away on July 6, 2006 at 80 years old. In fact, he suggested that I stop by to make sure that everything was all right. Oh, how sweet of Larry. Yes, he is thoughtful. Roy Roberts in the sitcom he played Frank Stevens. In 1967, when he was in the sitcom, he was 61 and sadly passed away on May 28, 1975 at 69. to one as big and the other as little. You know, that's true. I was named after my grandfather, and I've been... Charles Lane, in the sitcom he played at Hodgkiss. In 1965, when he was in the sitcom, he was 60 years old and sadly passed away on July 9, 2007 at 102. Elizabeth Montgomery, in the sitcom she plays Samantha Stevens. In 1964, when she was in the series, she was 31, and sadly she passed away on May 18, 1995, at 62. Well, that doesn't sound like our laundry. Their specialties are overstarching and shrinking. Well, I haven't got time to change it now. Goodbye. Mm. Um, take good care of yourself. Agnes Moorhead, in the sitcom she plays Andorra. In 1964, when she was in the sitcom, she was 63 and sadly she passed away on April 30th, 1974 at 73. Found a maid for you, a perfect gem, named Esmeralda. And she's not an outsider. No, no, one thing we... Alice Gosley in the sitcom she plays Esmeralda. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was 43. And sadly she passed away on September 21st, 2007 at 84. Which like Samantha fall in love with him. <laughs> Top block, Ramon! You're mine! <laughs> John Fittler, in the sitcom he played Augustus Sunshine. In 1967, when he was in the sitcom, he was 42, and sadly passed away on June 25, 2005, at 80 years old. You're saying that my poems are outdated. Oh, perhaps they are outdated. Then on the other hand, perhaps the advertising concepts being used are outdated. George Tobias in the sitcom he played Abner Kravitz. In 1964, when he was in the sitcom, he was 63 and sadly passed away on February 27, 1980 at 78. <laughs> How would you feel if I invited one of my boyfriends to dinner? Fine, just make sure he can play Pinochle. <laughs> Dick Wilson in the sitcom he played Trunk. In 1965, when he was in the sitcom, he was 49, and sadly he passed away on November 18, 2007, at 91. Washed up. My boss even tried to send me to a psychiatrist. Ah, oh, you don't need a psychiatrist, funny boy. <laughs> Robert F. Simon in the sitcom he played Frank Stevens. In 1964, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55, and sadly he passed away on November 29, 1992, at 83 make a little effort to get along with Samantha's mother. What for, dear? You seem to be making effort enough for both of us. <laughs> Marion Lorne in the sitcom she plays Anne Clara. In 
1964, when she was in the sitcom, she was 81, and sadly she passed away on May 9, 1968, at 84. Alice Spears in the sitcom she plays Gladys Kravitz. In 1964, when she was in the sitcom, she was 46, and sadly she passed away on March 3, 1966, at 48. Paul Lynn in the sitcom he plays Uncle Arthur. In 1965, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39 and sadly passed away on January 10, 1982, at 55. <laughs> she's not very good at it, but that's what she's doing. <laughs> and furthermore, Mother, as long as the. Sandra Gold in the sitcom she plays Gladys Kravitz. In 1964, when she was in the sitcom, she was 50 years old. And sadly, she passed away on July 20th, 1999, at 82. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I, I beg your pardon? Really? J. Edward McKinley, in the sitcom he plays Benson. In 1967, when he was in the sitcom, he was 50 years old, and sadly passed away on July 30th, 2004, at the age of 86. Suggestions for the chili. Not now. Oh, wait, I'd, I'd like to hear those suggestions. I'm getting desperate. I take it. Steve Franken in the sitcom he played George Barkley. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, he was 34 and sadly passed away on August 24, 2012, at 80 years old. Work out and I dismissed him. Oh? Why did you do that? Well, if you must know, he came in here with a wild story about you being some kind of sorcerer. David White in the sitcom he plays Larry Tate. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 48, and sadly passed away on November 27, 1990, at 74. Aaron, Larry likes it. Like it? I love it. You do? Yes. Now tell me what it's all about. <laughs> yes. Ah, well now, uh, let me see. Yeah. Richard Slattery in the sitcom he plays police officer. In 1965, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old and sadly he passed away on January 27, 1997, at 71. I haven't the slightest idea, Your Honor. Me either. Although, come to think of it, a lot of things that bad woman did were pretty quirky. Jack Collins in the sitcom he plays Mr. Robbins. In 1965, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 and sadly passed away on January 30th, 2005, at 86. That's about it, gentlemen. I may be president of the company, but Mr. Barclay's in charge of advertising, and I believe in giving my executives a completely free... Ron Maysack in the sitcom he played police officer. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 33, and sadly he passed away on October 20th, 2022, at 86. Sure saw at that bed warmer. Sore, Mr. Potter? Yeah, he kept banging him on the head. Oh, Herb Folan in the sitcom he played Charlie Trainer. In 1967, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48, and sadly he passed away on April 26, 1981, at 62. Taylor says, you've got two choices. Use Adrian Sebastian products, or be ugly. <laughs> Charlie, that is pretty crap. <laughs> yeah. Mabel Albertson in the sitcom she played Phyllis Stevens. In 1964, when she was in the sitcom, she was 63, and sadly she passed away on September 28, 1982, at 81. Something is laughing and clanking out here. Oh, Phyllis, for heaven's sake. That stuff is all rigged for the tourists. An English... Ronald Long, in the sitcom he played Henry VIII. In 1968, when he was in the sitcom, he was 57, and sadly passed away on October 23, 1986, at 75. You know, he that a man cannot live with a wife, nor without. But after five failures, I've determined... Sarah Sigar, in the sitcom she plays Agnes Baker. In 1964, when she was in the sitcom, she was 50 years old. 
Sadly, she passed away on August 12, 1990, at 76. I'm trying to get him back. Get who? The ghost of Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Morris Evans in the sitcom he plays Morris. In 1964, when he was in the sitcom, he was 63 and sadly passed away on March 12, 1989, at 87. Elsewhere. They do make a cute couple, don't they? Like fire and water.